What the heck? Oh, I'm so refreshed. This is not good at all. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? Um, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Who the heck are you? Hooray, a kipper. Wow, I've been here for... Hmm. How long? I'm Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. But you're lonely, so I can cheer you up, right? Wait, no. On the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. Well, I'm a little freaked out to see you, but whatever. But we do have a rather pleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. You better not be talking about Jerry, otherwise known as my best friend. That sound like something you can help us with? I mean, so long as it's not Jerry. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. I guess. I'm not sure why. Ah, the half-dead skull. That jealous skull man. Ha ha ha. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. I'm not as dead as you, though, so we're having a different experience. Who am I kidding? It's terrible down here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Lower right corner grave. Okay, that's good to know. I'll keep away from him. Could you get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem like that's what I should do at all. I can give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? Is that a meat license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. I didn't even remember I had a mailbox, to be perfectly honest. What else? Uh, Yorick? Oh, that's it. That's all Yorick had to say, apparently. Hey, Haradric, what's going on? No, 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 it's good to know how to use a sword. Cresswell told me about how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. <gasps> this very beer I can give to Jerry. Ooh, I should ask about the garden. I saw one. I found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, no, no, the garden. It was seized by the merchant to cover someone's debts. I can't find anybody who will make any use of it. Hmm, I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops near the graveyard? Groovy. Yay, thank you. I'll keep listening. Sounds great. Good, but you still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. It's not exactly proper to give permission without his approval, but it'll be fine if you just promise to settle the details with him later. Sure, I'll talk to him. He comes to trade with the locals every... day. He owns the barn just south of the tavern. South of the tavern. Got it. Bye. Um, do I not... Shoot, sorry, Horadric. Um, looks like I don't have room for this very important thing. Let's eat some mushrooms, lickety-splickety. Oh, they hurt your heart? Just kidding, let's not eat mushrooms lickety-splickety. Yay, garden certificate. Groovy. Groovy. So that dude's farm is just down south. South of the tavern. Okay, dude who owns a farm. This is too far south. <gasps> oh my gosh, you've got to be the merchant. Hi, I'm just gonna skulk a little behind you. Don't mind me. And after that, I really ought to go to Jerry and give him his beer. Beer he's been waiting for. I forget what Jerry's going to do once I give him the beer. You know why? Because my brain is a sieve. Oh, great, it's raining. My favorite. Hi, merchant. Oh my gosh, your glasses. I can't even begin to tell you how jealous I am of your wicked fashion. Great. <laughs> Greeting, villager. <laughs> if you have any spare silver, <laughs> I can offer some amazing things. Tasty and rare. <laughs> I humbly apologize, but I'm not buying any of your stuff unless it's something valuable. And I doubt you can find a thing like that here. Actually, I'm new here. Everyone thinks that I'm the keeper at the local graveyard, which is sometimes convenient, sometimes not. But I'm from another world, and I need to go back. 
<laughs> I understand you all too well. Those worlds is not mine either. Oh, thank goodness. Mine is the world of grandeur. The palaces of the town. But I'm not so lucky to be highborn. So I have to earn it. my coins here in this onion potato hell. <laughs> I've never heard it of onion potato hell, but you know what? If ever there was an onion potato hell, this village would be it. Scare him to cure his hiccups. He did not tell me to do that. So I'm going to talk to him about the garden first. I don't want him to get mad at me. Haradric gave me permission to use the garden near the church. I need to discuss the terms of use with you. Oh, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about that dead weight. It cost me so little. But of course, that was so many years ago and due to inflation and the good soil. I know it's quite a valuable commodity. Did your glasses just glint? You must be evil. Let me see. How about 10 gold? Um, poo poo. <laughs> too rich for me. That's too much for me. I, I can't afford it. Okay, okay. What about five gold? I don't have any money. I'm short on money. Maybe we can discuss some kind of barter. I see. You're a poor man who wants to earn a little money by growing crops. We can discuss the terms of your rent, but first let's see how good a farmer you are. Let's make a deal. You deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages, and beets. Then I'll see you as a serious business partner and we'll make a long-term deal that's profitable for both parties. What do you say? Wait. <laughs> I have to bring him stuff. Deal. As soon as I have my first harvest, I will bring it to you. Twelve. Twelve of each. One more thing. If you have the time, I'd like to ask you a small favor. Go for it. Everybody wants something from me. Everybody wants a piece of me. This is not new. How can I help you? My friend, I like delicious food, but lately I've been having stomach problems. After a good dinner, I get the hiccups. It's driving me mad. A friend of mine from that wine club told me that hiccup grass can help. I believe there's plenty of it in the swamp. I'd be very grateful if you could bring me some. Sure, I'll look around for some hiccup grass. Yeah, I don't think scaring him is going to be the ticket. I think he'll just get mad at me. Well, now what? Okay, let's go give Jerry. You know what? Poor Jerry. He's been so thirsty. He's been waiting so patiently. I think I ought to go get him a beer. Jerry, 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 Jerry. I am so excited to present you with your beer. Hey, where's my beer? I got it right here. Here you go, Jerry. Here's some gold star beer. Ta-da! Ah, uh, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. What else do you want from me? All right, you seem like a decent guy. So here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. Today you whisper that to a drinking buddy in the tavern, and tomorrow your face is on every pub in town. That's actually a really good point, Jerry. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Okay. Sounds good to me. Maybe he's right. I should be more careful. I uh, know. I don't know why I've been so willy-nilly and careless with this information. So what's your question? Okay, Jerry, I have some questions. How can I get back home? Easy. I'm sure you could use the portal on which hill. So I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow. The church has a library in its cellar. Convenient. Or maybe Astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. Your non-existent brain sure knows a lot, Jerry. Oh, how can I get to the library? I'm assuming the church needs to be unlocked. Obviously through the church. And I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. My wine cellar? Hmm. Curious, you're curious, you're. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. That doesn't make me feel very good, but okay. Net net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish this served, I've got no hands to show how big it was. But believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails. And once... You know what? I need to go. I'm sure it's fascinating, Jerry, but I have to get you wine. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. Great. Great. Okay, bye. I don't need to ask about the astrologer. I don't need to ask about the astrologer. See you later. Okay. So a network of tunnels, you say. What's that? Fix the corpse hatch. Oh, hey, I can fix the corpse hatch. I have zero idea what this is for, but let's do it. Let's make a corpse hatch. You know what? It just sounds cool. It sounds really nifty. That sucked up most all of my energy. Okay, so I have a corpse hatch and no corpse. Do I not get a corpse on this fine day? Okay, let's go find this freaking lighthouse. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going east, 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 east. 
With a hop, skip, and a jump, I'll make it to the east, where we're hoping that the lighthouse is. Because I don't remember. Get out of my way. Eastward bound. Wow, they have a nice garden. <gasps> chickens, chicky babes. I would like some chickens too, if that's acceptable. Hey, who the heck are you and what do you have to say for yourself? I already have too many tasks on my plate, but what do you have? Dig, what a delightful name. This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? Oh, no, I did not think that at all, Dig, my friend Dig. I'm just trying to stay positive. And you know what truly matters. What, Dig, what matters? Sha, sha, sha. Hey, do you think he can understand? No, Dig, he won't, because he can't see. Okay, I'm getting mildly concerned. Okay, then I'll tell him a sweet lie. Okay, Dig, tell me sweet little lies. The only things that matter are peace and herbs and nice, sweet things. Thanks, Dig. Sweet like honey. That looks like a honey pot next to you. Bring me some honey, and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. Great. I'm so happy to have so many tasks on my plate when I can barely accomplish a single one. Hooray. Oh, poop. Okay, so I can't even... Okay, I guess the lighthouse isn't to the east. Bogus. Absolutely bogus. Let's go down. Maybe there's a smaller way across. I'm not hopeful. Oh, apples and pears. I wonder if I would get arrested for stealing some of this fruit. Seems likely. Oh man, another person with- Oh, this is the lighthouse. <gasps> ah, ah, there's the astronomer. Yes, finally this day is going my way. Hello, astrologer. Hi, are you the astrologer by any chance? I used to be, now I'm more of a lost soul in this dead-end world. Very poetic. I'm the new graveyard keeper. It seems I need your help. Everyone needs something, except me. Knowledge brings only sadness, young man. That's fair, I suppose. You seem pretty happy. I'm actually hiding my misery very well. Your trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me? You don't even know what I need help with. Let me see. You're looking after the graveyard. Yep. Good inference. Psst. Quiet. Hmm. 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 Bring me a skull. It's pretty illegal, but who cares about that stupid inquisitor's law? I might. I, this guy sounds kind of scary. Jerry's scared of him. Jerry's scared of nothing. The talking one, Jerry, he's kind of my friend. I, I don't think that would be appropriate, actually. No, I just need a simple skull from any old dead body. Groovy. Bye. Bye. I went all this way. I spent all my time. And it wasn't enough. Just had another task for me. Hi. Lighthouse keeper, you must be a sailor. Holy mackerel, boy. You look like someone who desires to be a part of the magic world of fishing. I could be convinced. I mean, I don't know much about fishing. Lucky you, I know a whole lot about fishing. It's so relaxing and it can be profitable. Plus, fish are really tasty. I'm partial to fish myself. We could be good friends. Sounds great. I'm in. Smart choice, my boy. I'll provide you with everything you need and teach you how to cook fish. Cool. What do you want in return? Because I just am sensing a new task. What do you need? You don't need anything? Are you serious? You're my best friend, lighthouse keeper. All I need is rod. Do you have a rod that you can give me by any chance? That I do, my boy. I have an old one, but I'm not just handing it over as a gift. I'll ask you to bring me some moths. Very strange request. I'm assuming you mean it for bait, right? They're good as bait, but you can only catch them at night, and I can hardly make out a thing when it's dark. Cool. I think I've seen them running around. Bye. Hmm. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay. Not to be pessimistic, but the visit to the astrologer, pretty disappointing, all things considered. Pretty disappointing. I got a new task, and you want to know something just typical of me? I don't even remember what he asked me to do. Isn't that great? I am not at all surprised. What did he, what did he want me to do? He wanted me to bring him something that I can't possibly get him, right? I'm so happy that I genuinely don't remember. What would an astrologer want? I'm just tickled pink. I'm just tickled pink that I can't remember what he wanted me to do. Oh, curses and fishes, it's raining. That's sad. <laughs> it does reflect my current disposition, though. I'm a little sad, I guess. You know why? Because the astrologer just made more demands. And what's worse, I don't remember what those demands were. 
But I just remember that it wasn't going to be easy. <gasps> oh no, Jerry. The Inquisitor. I've just seen the Inquisitor right nearby. Going up the path to Witch Hill. Oh, sorry, he'll kill me. Or even worse. Calm down, I'll go distract him. Maybe I'll find something on that hill that will help me get home. Okay, um, no worries, Jerry. You're my best friend. I will do my utmost to make sure you are protected. Just vanish and don't come back, I guess. Okay, up which hill? I'm actually pretty excited. Oh. <sighs> Everything's ready, Monsignor. Good. Were there any problems? No, Monsignor, except there was a strange fella snooping around. Oh, there he is. Halt. Um, hi. <laughs> guys, calm down. I live here at the graveyard. I'm practically your neighbor. He calls us guys? Why? He's a cultist for certain, Monsignor. Um, nope. I don't even know what cult you're talking about. I am the graveyard keeper. I work as the keeper of the local graveyard. You can ask any of the villagers about me. I've been here for like five days. I'm pretty much rooted and established and very much not in a cult. Then you're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me at the witch burning ceremony? You know what? I am, funnily enough, not really into witch burnings, but I feel like if I refuse, he's probably going to put me on the stake. And so to refuse would be a mistake. <gasps> so I'm going to agree. It would be my absolute honor, Monsignor. So how do you find yourself in such an interesting position? Tell him about the real world. Lie or dodd? Crikey. I do feel like these are really high stakes and I am a... I'm not going to tell him about the real world. Jerry told me not to do that. Lie or dodge? I'm going to just kind of dodge around. You can call me Dodger. Well, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. Which is the truth. I'm not actually lying. You're definitely hiding something. And I'll find out what. Hmm, I'm actually telling the truth. That wasn't a lie. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith and humankind itself. And you accuse me of being in a cult? This sounds suspicious. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Oh, well, I kind of deal with the dead on a day-to-day -day basis, and I do need a skull, so you can send them my way, Monsignor. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. You know what? I had absolutely nothing to do with that. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. Righteous anger rises with it in my soul. <gasps> That's creepy. We've burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years. Okay, not too long to change. <laughs> And it's only the beginning. Okay, you can turn back now. Burn the witch. No, no, don't, no. Light the fire. Burn the witch, burn the witch. Yes, Monsignor. No, ho, ho, ho. I. Long live the Great Inquisitor. Hurrah, 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 hurrah. So, you work a lot with dead bodies, huh? Yes, I think it's part of my job. It's very much inferred. And you live right beside this hill, near the graveyard. That right? Yep. Yep. But I wish you'd forget my address. Interesting, interesting. You know, I need someone to be my friend here at the village. <gasps> like a spy? I'm really bad at that. You could already tell I was lying earlier, so not that I was lying. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. Kind of seems like a good idea to at least pretend to be a friend of this dude. I don't trust the villagers. They don't go to church and even refuse to lay in their graves after death. Oh, poof, done. Wait, why are they not in their graves? But you're new here. You might notice something unusual. I mean, I hope not. Agree to be his friend or decline to be his friend? <laughs> help me, be help me, tell me what to do. Um, obviously, he terrifies me. So I'm going to agree to be his friend. Don't judge me. I have to play like the double agent, okay? So we all know what I'm doing here. I'm agreeing to be his friend, but I do not condone witch burning. So there, here we go. About to make a really big mistake, but he will probably kill me if I say to climb. Agree. Sure. It'll be a pleasure to be your friend. You're our best friend, I dare say. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my trust and to be a friend of the Inquisition, you will first have to show your goodwill. Um, what does that entail? What if you give me all the dead you were worried about? How about that? So, I have a couple of minor tasks for you. Um, what kind of tasks? Because I'm kind of overburdened right now. 
everything in due time. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. Good to know, good to know. We can talk next medallion day or any other medallion day. I like to come here. There is no place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. Good to know that the where I should avoid you in the future. Yikes, yikes. Um, I think I'm in shock. I think I'm experiencing symptoms of shock at the moment. Oh, hey, this looks interesting. Oh, it lights up with the correct days. But obviously that's a puzzle that I am too shocked. My shock runs deep. Dang it. You know what? Here's a problem, my babies. I broke my shovel and I haven't gone to fix it yet. Hee hee ha ha. That was a mistake because there's a lot of stuff I can dig, it looks like. How much do you want to reckon that this is like a witch house? <gasps> What's this? It is a grave. You know what? Oof, this is a bad... This body isn't doing great. Should I give you a marker? I feel like everybody deserves to have a wooden marker. Do I know how to make other wooden markers? Nope. But look, there you go. Happy birthday. Uh-huh. Happy cross day. Okie dokie. So, don't really know what's going on there. It was probably a mistake to use my precious resources to give them a thingamabob. Oh, hey, I was trying to get over here earlier. Hee hee ha ha. I am just really good at stuff, I guess. What's all this? Well, it would be sure nice to have a shovel right about now. Well, cool. Uh-oh. Baby. Are they gonna kick me out? Yeah, they're gonna, I don't actually wanna get stuck there because of bats. I do have a, a fear of bats. Okay, hidey ho, gentlemen. Have a good evening. Never come my way. You know what? I don't think I handled that as well as I could have. Well, my fellow ghoulies, I think that's about as much as my heart can take for one day. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. A little too much happened for my comfort, uh, but we did manage to talk to the astrologer and get, guess what? Another task. And we met the inquisitor and caught another task. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for joining me during these troubling times. And I'll make sure to let you know next time something unfolds in the underworld. Bye-bye, fellow goodies. Do I seriously need to pause and figure out where the heck the Grand Inquisitor is? I'm also stressed because my meat is going bad and I need that meat for beer and other mis- <gasps> ah! Ah, yeah, 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 I am gonna die. Run. Run. No, 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 no. Heck no, heck no, heck no, heck no, heck no, heck no, heck no. Heck no, heck no, heck no, heck no, heck no.